you are an entrepreneur, just wave your hand. Okay. Now, when you see this, it means you have to wrap up in five seconds, okay? We will cut you off at 2.5 minutes, so as not to be unfair to everybody else. And the panel, please, when you see this, it's about time to wrap up. Now we move on to the next one. So, are we all ready? Hello, are we all ready? Are we all ready? Yes! Yeah. Alright, the first guy is really pumped up. Transterra Media. Good afternoon, my name is Joe Bukowski, and I am the director of production and a founding partner at Transterra Media. Transterra Media is an online video marketplace built by a team of professional uh, journalists and videographers formerly with the BBC, ABC, and AFP. Our brand team has done video for Armani, L'Oreal, and Mercedes-Benz, and our chief content officer has seven Emmy Awards to his name. In 2017, digital media spending has surpassed that of television for the first time. Video ads alone will account for some $225 billion dollars growing at 20% per year through 2020. So it's safe to say that the future of video online is huge. However, until now, producing high quality, professional content to meet that demand on a global scale has been costly, complex, and time consuming. How am I going to find a filmmaker in Monrovia, Liberia to produce a story on the fight against Ebola for a pre CSR campaign, let alone pay the guy or insure him? For brands and newsrooms, we need access to unique, original video. Transfer Media is the content marketplace for custom material, on-demand footage from vetted, pre uh, vetted professional journalists and filmmakers worldwide. Customers can make detailed requests directly on the platform to match with the right producer among the 4,000 contributors already in our network. They can manage their productions in real time, and they can purchase pre-produced stock and archival content directly from the platform. However, the real innovation we bring to the market is our supply chain. Unlike getting in Reuters, our acquisition costs for media are extremely low. Our contributors retain full rights to all of their content. And unlike social networks for freelancers, we actually sell media directly on our platform to our clients. So we provide an open community for media producers from Bolivia to Borneo to upload, market, and sell their content, pitch new story ideas, manage assignments, and find and work with their colleagues. We take a 30% commission on every media item sold, and last year we did over $700,000 in revenue on the sale of over 1,000 stories to over 100 repeat buyers from CNN to the UNHCR um, to um, to, uh, to Vice. We're looking for $3 million to bring on a new CMO, CFO, and to finalize a mobile platform bill. Thank you. Thank you. Can I take the hot seat? Oh, man. Off you go. <laughs> oh, yes. This one's on, Steve. Take this. So, help me understand your uh, buyers. What's their profile? Our, our buyers up until now, our main customer segment where we have traction right now, are editors at news outlets like CNN and people who are responsible for sourcing outside content at NGOs like UNHCR and ICRC. And what's the size of the, the videos? And the it can be anything from a fully produced story to a short documentary or even just a small clip of breaking news footage. Okay. And, and uh, how many of these are repeat transactions? Well, over, over 100 of our buyers are buy frequently, so when I say repeat customers, they've bought at least, we calculated, they've bought at least three times from us. Yes. Um, 182, I think, was the last time. No, no, but how many, total available market? Total available market of yeah. clients? Hundreds. Thousands of big, big, smaller agencies, boutique uh, content agencies in other parts of the world. I mean, we have an active client base, a right. trip base all over, so. What's the biggest thing you learned from the three million uh, since since raising the bus, three million dollars? We didn't raise; we're seeking to raise. Sorry, yes. Yeah, it's what it says received. Sorry. Uh, oh, I didn't receive. We're seeking to raise. Okay. Um, what, what have we learned so far?
more about building your marketplace? Like, what are you learning about the buyers or the sellers that the, you didn't yeah, expect? That's huge. Um, that during our customer discovery process, which has been kind of like soul seeking for us, um, we've learned that don't build it if they don't want it. That's been the biggest thing. Um, that you may be surprised. Uh, a lot of times we would assume that you know these editors are super busy. They receive tons of emails. They don't want to receive email. We got to work hard on building something else. And come to find out, they want email. They want you to send them an email. So work on that. So I'd say really learning to um, understand our customers in a deep way, especially in such a complex market, uh, has been the biggest learning experience. How do you acquire the content creators? Content creators. Well, all of us in the office are either journalists, filmmakers, or work in agencies. So through our personal contacts, it just kind of spiderwebs out. But we also have a small team um, that uses social media and reads media all the time. They do a daily review of all the media that's going on, the stories coming in. We use that to acquire contributors. Well, thank you. Now, what is the largest market so far for, for you to make money? From? Our largest market is uh, European and North American news buyers for right now. But we're seeking after those big um, advertising agencies, agencies where you get a much higher price for distributors. Guys who are used to selling one minute of video at between 500 and 1,000 can sell it at between 5,000. So it could be anywhere. Yeah. It depends on the, the use category. Well, if you can share also, can you share with us also the potential the expected sales this year? The last year was 700k and this yeah. year. So this year, we are kind of repositioning towards these brands. So we expect possibly to even take a hit and get lower sales as we reposition. But um, if we get it right with the release of our buyer MVP, the new uh, buyer experience, then we'll get, hopefully we're aiming at 2 million in 2016. Might have to adjust that as we get closer to the end of the year. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you.